Hey guys, it's me, Marty, and welcome to this week's edition of First Impression Friday. So this week I have an Ipsy Glam Bag review. So I have the April 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag review, which is hashtag full bloom. So here's what the card says. We're going to go over the card first, and we'll talk about the bag. It says full bloom, Mother Nature's finest work. Mother Nature's finest work, question mark, you. It's time to fully embrace your natural and most gorgeous state. Curls, curves, and all, and allow yourself to blossom. So it has the little watercolor flowers inside. It has a list of all of the products, which I'm going to go over with you guys before we get started. So this is the card itself. This is the bag itself. The bag is pretty cute. It's got these little flowers on it. I don't know. I think they're irises. Um, it's a little lavender bag. Very cute. And it has this little wooden ring, which I love because you can just pull it open and shut. And then on there, it has a little Ipsy written on the little circle and here's what was in the bag so i'm going to throw you to the reviews for these next this we have a luxie beauty 209 large shader brush this one then we have a sugar wingman waterproof micro liner in the shade i'll be black we have the tony moly moisture boost gel to water morning cleanser the murad hydration nutrient charge water gel it's like a moisturizer we have the ariza beauty new shimmer and contour palette and that should be yep so that's all five of the products if you want to see what i think about them or how i use them to get this look because i did use every single thing today to create this look you can just keep on watching thanks um so the first thing i have to review is the tony moly gel to water morning cleanser so this is it um tony moly i'm always familiar with him because the cute little animals they got the cute little whale on this they have like a little fat penguin some little it's all kind of cute little things. Something I want to say before I even start on this is I like that they made a delineation and called it a morning cleanser because like I have two different beauty routines. I do one thing in the morning and I do a totally separate thing at night. So I just think that's cool. So it says here what they say is sensitive skin no prob. This gel to water cleanser is made of natural fragrances and mild surfactants. That's a, that's a new one for me. Um, that won't make your skin feel tight and dry even better. It uses five different types of scintilla asiatica, a hydrating herb, to soothe inflammation and redness on contact tip. Massage this gel cleanser onto damp skin until it becomes water-like, then rinse. Okay. And the full size of this is $13.50. This is a deluxe sample. All righty. So... Um, what does it say on here? In the morning, gently massage the gel all over dry or wet face, then rinse with lukewarm water. Okay, good. I like cleansers that do this because when you have makeup on, applying your cleanser straight to a clean, a dry face helps get makeup off a little quicker. So I'm excited about this because I usually do that. Where's my camera? Oh, I usually do that. But, um, some things want you to have your face moist first. I prefer to start on a dry face with cleanser. So, Let's see what's up, Tony Moly. Okay, so it's got the little protective coating. I like the packaging. I like the blue. I think it's really symbolic of the gel to water. I'm interested to see this formula. So this is the package. It's blue. It's got that light to dark blue gradient. Got the little hard cap, which means, again, y'all know my feelings. You can stand it up. I like the size. You want to travel with it. All right, so gently massage gel over dry or wet face. So I'm going to put it over dry face today let's see what it looks like okay so it is a gel as you would expect well i'm all side sobbing really watery gel like almost like i know it's gonna sound stupid but it's like hard water if that makes sense not hard water you, you know what i just explain myself to y'all people so i'm just mixing it on my hand a little bit first and then oh my goodness y'all this is so cool it's like it breaks down as you're rubbing it like it goes from that gel back to a liquid that's nice. It's a really good feel. It's super cooling. Like summer coming up, that's quarantine or no quarantine. Louisiana summer is going to be like 8 billion degrees. So this is such a cooling effect. Like for when I'm not feeling well, like yesterday I had a killer headache. Like it lasted all day. I cried. It was like insane. I mean, it feels super moisturizing. It smells fresh. All right. Go wash my face. Rinse it off. I don't even know how I'm going to know where it is and where it isn't because it's like, okay, I right back. Okay, y'all, so I am done with the Tony Moly Moisture Boost Gel to Water Morning Cleanser. It is pretty good. It rinsed off very clean. The only thing about it, like, I um, rinse my face. I, I don't rinse my face off, my cleanser. 
I uh, take a towel and like rub it against to get it all off. And the only thing is it's clear, so I don't feel like I got all of it off because I couldn't see it. But my face does feel kind of sticky in some places, but it is super moisturizing. If you have dry skin, I love this stuff for that. It smells good and fresh. It is a really light cleanser, so like I, it's definitely a morning cleanser. Because like for me, I do my makeup throughout the day. I take most of my makeup off at night before I go to bed. And then when I get up in the morning, I'm mostly just cleaning off sleep and dirt and all dead skin cells and crap like that. So... It's good for morning. I wouldn't suggest it for night. If you have a full face of makeup on, it's not going to take your makeup off. It just won't. But next I have what is clearly an Ipsy favorite because I have like 4,000 of these from Ipsy. A Murad Hydration Nutrient Charge Water Gel. So this is another Murad moisturizer because I just don't have enough from Ipsy. Um, let me read what it says in here. It says, winter's behind us, but it doesn't mean you should skip out on hydration. Switch to this lightweight water gel moisturizer. This all-free formula is made with a combo of five minerals, five vitamins, and five peptides that help strengthen your skin's barrier to retain moisture. And the AM and PM massage a dime-sized amount all over face and neck after cleansing. The MSRP, this is a deluxe sample, and the MSRP full-size version is $60. So it's expensive, but Murad is expensive. And with good reason, it's a good company. They make really great products. So this is a little box that came in, very cute. I love that they felt the need to put it in an actual box. The box is way bigger than it needs to be because this is the teeny tiny little sample. So this is the sample, or is it right here? Here it is, so that's the box, sample, whatever. This is another reason that I'm switching from Ipsy to BoxyCharm because I have gotten so many Murad products. And I don't have a problem with that. Is the fact that I keep getting Murad moisturizers over and over and over again. Like, my face is not that big to have all of those different products. Okay, so this is the product itself. It's pretty, um, it's like more jelly than the other one. Let me go get the other one. I'll be right back. Okay, so if you are shopping for Murad and you're just like in Murad, well, not, I don't know that there's a Murad store, but if you're just looking at Murad, and trying to figure out what you want to buy of these two moisturizers. I want to show y'all what they both are. So uh, where's my Murad one? Oh, I took it out. It's in here somewhere. Okay, yeah. So this is the Murad moisturizer they sent like a month or two ago. It is the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture Moisturizer. And then this is the gel. So there are two different types. I can actually show y'all just by looking at it. So really... This one is just a lighter weight gel formula. This one is, and this one is like a regular run of the mill super cream moisturizer. Again, let me be clear. Both of them are good. I just have so many of them. Y'all see, I hardly made a dent in this one because I got the Tatcha one and then I got another one and then I got it. So like, I, I don't have time to use them before it's, oh, this feels good though. Really good. I like a gel moisturizer because to me it's lighter weight. I know like the Clinique gel moisturizer they say it actually gives more hydration than the other one. I think it's just a lighter weight. It smells good. The packaging is pretty, of course. Okay, it says the same thing, AM and PM, whatever. I have a specific uh, moisturizer I use at night, so I don't use any of these at night unless I'm traveling. And then sometimes when I travel, I, I don't really use a moisturizer at night. I probably should, though. I like this. Again, $60 for a moisturizer. Seems a little expensive, but... If it is the only moisturizer you have, this does feel amazing on my face. It does. I'm just going to slide over my lips too because my lips are kind of dry. They feel kind of dry. So it feels good. Soaked in really quick too. So that's the Murad Nutrient Charge Hydrogel. I love it. It works really well. It's beautiful. Um, I love the little packaging. I just got so many Murad products, but I love it though. It feels super good. Like it's soaked right into my face. Like my face doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel oily. Really, really good. So I'll be back with y'all in a minute to do the rest of this bag. Okay, so my eyebrows are carved out, obviously prep primed, all that stuff. Because the next product, I actually have a couple things to do that we're going to kind of do together. So uh, obviously, it's going to make sense. We are going to do the Oriza Beauty Nude in Sh Nude Shimmer and Contour Eyeshadow Palette right here. It's still wrapped. Thank you. And the Luxe the Luxie Beauty Brush in Large Shader Brush. So I'm going to read what they say. Ooh, and the reason I'm doing this together is because this is an eyeshadow brush. This is an eyeshadow palette, obviously. This one is also the one I chose for this month. So just a heads up. So let's read what they say. The Ozira Palette. So that's this one. 
This travel sized palette has four silky smooth shades that range from warm nude to metallic rose gold. Each shade is made from rice-based ingredients as well as oils, vitamins, and essential fatty acids that are healthy for your skin. Wear them alone or together. They last all day without creasing or fading. Apply them with your finger or brush, wet or dry, depending on how bold you want to go. Full size. So this is a full size and it MSRPs. The MSRP price is $19.95. So I will say this. Ipsy, y'all know y'all want for that. When I got it, it looked like a big palette, like kind of like the Kylie Wet Set palette. That's what I thought it was. It's not. This is a little palette. Now, it's very, very cute. So please don't get me wrong. I'm not like hating on it. It's adorable. I like that it's white. Y'all can see in the background. Everything is black and white up here. So I like that. Very clean looking. This is the eyeshadow itself. So even though it's a tiny palette, the bricks are so big. The pans are so big that, you know, it's it's very pretty so i want to swatch these first then we'll talk about some other stuff so uh do they have names they don't have names so i'll just swatch them so this pretty like sienna brown here i'm just gonna do it on my hand since there's just four little shades uh, i don't know that they're super buttery like they said but this kind of bronzy shimmery shade kind of goldy whoa that's pretty okay right all right next we got this like reddish brown copper shade here Let's see hmm i hate swatching when my nails are not done like it's just oh so annoying but you know probably won't be getting my nails done for a while right now and this beautiful pink shade which i think is gonna already be my favorite shade right here mostly shimmers i think this first shade i used is a matte so there's that just a kind of a heads up um, I did use a transition shade already that I put on because I kind of could see from the picture that there wasn't really anything I could use as a transition shade. So I did use this little Kylie uh, eyeshadow duo. I did use Topaz, which is this kind of taupey color, which I use a lot as a transition shade. So I like this little palette because I can travel with it. Like I'm going to actually put it in my little travel container when I leave here. Um, in my little travel bag because it's just so little like you can stick that in a purse It don't even need to be in a makeup bag, but this will be a travel palette because I have enough palettes that I don't need to uh, You know keep this one out when I'm not gonna really use it. So again, these are the swatches. They swatched pretty well I don't think they're as buttery. I don't think they're as buttery as they acted like they were and I uh, They don't have a mirror. There's no mirror. So I'm gonna have to get another So I'm gonna have to get another uh, little compact or something for a mirror. Let me grab something all right, so I'm just gonna use the NARS bronzer uh, compact for a mirror since I don't have a mirror. Okay, so for the crease, I'm going to go with the only matte because I wanna test out the mattes. So I'm gonna use this brown here. I'm gonna use this brown here as a crease color, right? So go on in with my NYX brush that I always use for the crease. I'm gonna apply it the same way I always do, which is right in the middle here, and then I'm gonna buff it out, okay. So the color is pretty pigmented. Um, on the on the uh, little description, it did say you could wet the sh the colors, the shadows, to get more color payout. So I mean, there's that. Just and all I do is push that into the socket really good to make sure that I'm getting the dimension I want. Okay, yeah, y'all, I like it. It's a uh, for that that matte um, crease color. That color is pretty. It's very light though, like which is good because like to travel with, I definitely, I like this. I like that a lot. It's pretty, very pretty, very pretty. So that's that one color, that's that matte. Now I'm gonna work on my lid, which means I'm going to use the Luxie two, 209 Large Shader Summer Days Tan Brush. So let's read what Ipsy has to say about it right here. Ipsy says, we found it, the brush that does it all and is perfect for packing on, and is perfect for packing on spring break. Use it wet for a sheer wash of color or dry to intensify pigments. It works with cream, powder, or liquid shadows. Bonus, the sunset inspired handle will add so much life to your vanity. Yeah, I am really, really excited about this. Actually, I really am. Then it says, tip dampen the bristles before dipping into your shadow to intensify pigments. Okay. I'm confused though because it says use it wet for a sheer wash of color 
or dry to intensify pigments. And then it says dampen to intensify pigments. I'm just going to assume that Ipsy made a mistake and meant to type something else. I'm going to show it to y'all. Say, so I don't think I'm crazy. You can pause it if you want to read it. But I'm assuming they got it backwards because obviously if you're going to wet it, it'll make it more intense. It'll pick more up. Anyway, whatever. I don't know. So I am going to try this both ways. Like I'm going to try it um, wet and dry just so I can see what the difference is. So I want to go in with this little like a uh, coppery color right here. This one right here. And I'm going to use this brush to apply it. And I'm going to put that on the outer half of my lid because I want to see what it looks like. It's not. Okay, here we go. I like the feeling of this brush, I'll tell you that. It's so easy to hold. The bristles are very dense, which I'm not mad at. I really like that, actually. This is a good brush. This might be my... Yeah, this might be like a go-to eyeshadow brush for me for lid work because it's really good. Yeah, I really like that. And it's hard. Like, and it would, I, Which I, I know for some people that might not be a good thing, but I like it because I feel like it's really going right where I need it to. It's very direct. Like, where you press it is where your highlight is going to... Your uh, eyeshadow is going to be in... It applies a good bit too, so I really like this brush already. I really do. I have to tell y'all. This is this is one of the better Ipsy brushes I've ever gotten. And I've gotten a lot. Like the majority, this this brush, right? This brush cup right here with all the different colors. Literally, I don't see one of them that is not oh, these two. Everyone except two of them in there are from Ipsy. So Ipsy goes in with the brushes. They, I've always said that Ipsy is really, really good with brushes. All right, and I am gonna wet it and go back. I wanna do something in the outer corner just to kind of test it out. So let me use the other side to get this. Now I'm gonna go in with this gold. I'm gonna go in with this like bright gold right here, which is beautiful. This, These two together are like a really good team, Ipsy. This Oriza, um brush, I mean brush palette, and this Luxie brush, they go really, really well together and they look beautiful together. Like the colors in the brush are kind of similar to the colors in the palette. And I know that doesn't have anything to do with how well they work. Oh, look, I just dipped in that gold. Look how, how much it picked up. Nice. Oh, nice. I love that. Look how it, that gradient. I mean, this was a power couple to give together. And April is actually my birthday month. So like I had a lot more riding on this bag because I was expecting it to be like a birthday bag and came all the way through, came all the way through. So last but not least, I do want to use the rose gold color, which is in the corner here. And I do want to apply that up in my brow bone just to see what it looks like. And then we're going to wet it and see what the rest of them look like. I'm excited. Oof. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you know, the color story of this palette is they just go so well. Like, it's perfect. It's perfect. So to say it's a little baby palette, it packs quite a punch and it's gorgeous and I love it. Oh, yeah, Oriza and Luxie, that's a, that's a match made in heaven, Ipsy. It says to dampen the brush if you want to get, um, like, if you want to get a uh, more intense color payout. So what I'm going to do instead of just wetting it with, instead of just wetting it with, like, uh, water, I'm going to spray it with my Tarte Stay Spray. Because if I was going somewhere and was using this, I would want it to last a long time. And I really think with this, it's going to add, it's not only going to intensify the pigment, it's going to also help that last longer. So I'm just going to spray. Sorry, I love the way it smells. It smells so good. So again, I'm going to dip back into that copper color. I just want to see what it's going to do. Oof. Yeah, it, it picked up a lot of color. And it took the glitter in bigger chunks. So if you're really trying to glam it up, yeah yeah i like the okay it did intensify the pigment but i will say this i don't know that that's really needed it's pretty it is pretty but i just don't in this particular palette but i kind of wanted to just test the brush out so and then the last product which i'm glad they did such a heavy eye uh bag because y'all know i love a lot of uh a lot of eye products so you can see my eye draw right there um, I don't think I had another sugar liner from them. Let me just double check real quick. So this is a sugar wingman waterproof micro liner in the shade I'll Be Black, which is cute. It's shade number one, which usually if it says number one on it like that, it'll be like the darkest shade. So cat eyes, dramatic wings are simple flicks. They're all made easy with this jet black liquid liner. It's firm, easy to control, tip draws clean, crisp lines every time. No pro skills required. 
And the best part, the formula is 100% waterproof. So when it's on, it's on. Temp, temp. Tip, shake the pen before use and store it upside down to prevent felt tip from drying out. So full size version, this is the full size and it retails for $11.99. So I see you, Ipsy trying to make me reconsider jumping ship, but you can't hit me with one good bag every like six months. Like that's not gonna work. And it's not that the bags are bad. It's just, I get the same thing over and over again. Like if I got, ooh, if I get one more, I love a black liquid liner, but I mean, there's no reason for me to have that many of them. Like that's ridiculous. Ooh, this liner goes on really well though. Super dark. I like that. This is a good liner already, I can tell. Let me do this with you guys so I can really see because I can't really see. It's very precise. And what I really like about it is that what I, what I really like about it is that you can push on it and it just goes. Like I can't stand when I gotta hold it and keep drawing over and over and over. It's not doing that, it's really. And you see how I can build it up like that? Oh. To get the kind of wing mama likes. Yeah, see that's the line right there. I'm going to have to finish it off in this little, oh y'all. It's showing up a little grayer on the camera but it is like real, real black, which I real, real love. Because I don't know how many fellow black liner girls I have out there, but man, a good black liner is hard to find sometimes. Matter of fact, if you have a black liner you love, can you please comment it down below? Cause I really wanna, I'm really looking for one that just like blows my mind. And I've yet to find, I had the liquid coal from Seraphine Cosmetics for a long time and it recently ran out. And it hurt my feelings that it ran out. It really did. It really hurt my feelings. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the other eye and finish up my look. And I'll be back and we'll go over everything together. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I am back. This is the finished look using products from the Ipsy, the April Ipsy Glam Bag. Hair is done, kind of. It's really, really flat. I don't know exactly why. I guess because I flat ironed it this week and I usually don't. Um, so anyway, before I get to the Ipsy moment when you have no mirror, um, I, before I get to the rest of the Ipsy products, I just kind of want to sneak this one in here. This is a Pacifica Natural Minerals Natural Color Quench Lip Tint in Vanilla Hibiscus. I got this on sale at Ulta for 50 cents. It was $5 and then it was a 90% off sale. So it was 50 cents. So I grabbed it and I just kind of want to try it out while I'm on here because since this quarantine i don't wear like makeup makeup all the time or at all except when i'm shooting um so i wanted to try this out because it's supposed to be like a uh okay so it has a little bit of color on it like it's like a tinted balm so i just wanted to use this as my lip stuff just to try it out because i never tried it and i'm looking for something light to wear like just you know but i can't answer the door like when someone shows up like waiter or you know a delivery because i get a bunch of those all of a sudden um pretty and i like the packaging the packaging is really really nice so it lives so very moisturized though so that's cool so this is not part of the ipsy thing i just wanted to share it with y'all since i was trying it out for the first time wanted to do it so here is the ipsy april glam bag this is the bag itself the bag itself is okay i mean it's got i thought those were dragonflies but now i think they're flowers pretty cute um i like the zipper the zipper pull is really really nice okay so the ipsy april glam bag is called full bloom so since this one is already out we'll go with this first all right so this is the luxie 209 large shader brush and it's in like a special like sunset paint i mean this brush is beautiful y'all i use it to apply my eyeshadow today the bristles are really stiff not really stiff but they're really compact so it makes them, it makes it amazing for applying um, lid work. So if you look, I did dampen the, the bristles a little bit to apply some of the eyeshadow. Just see what the difference is. You can see in the tryouts. I love this brush. This brush, I truly believe can replace one of the ones I use every single time because I adore it. It's beautiful to sit out on the, um, on the counter because you see I have my brushes. That's my brush cups right there. I got three of them. So it's beautiful to sit out on the vanity. I just, it's just, I love this brush. I really do. And speaking of this brush, I want to go to the next one, which is the Oriza eyeshadow palette. So it's a little mini palette. It's good to travel with. Now the retail price of this is uh, 20 bucks. So that's $5 a pan. I do think that's a little steep for a, a palette that's this small, 
but I love this palette. This as a travel palette, like I'm going to put it in my purse when I'm finished reviewing it. Just so that, you know, when you have one of those moments where you like, um, either you had to rush out and then you wind up sitting somewhere where you can actually sit and do your makeup. This is really nice for that. The thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have a mirror. And again, I think the price point is really steep because this is the full size version. The other thing I don't love about the palette though is that it doesn't have a transition shade. It's really mostly glitters, which I only really use on my lids. And then there's one matte, which is a pretty light brown. So I use it as a transition shade, not a transition, a crease shade, but it could be a good transition for me too with my skin tone. But I will say April with those two was off to a really, really good start. So next we have the Sugar Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner in I'll Be Black. So let me show you all this, okay? This is that liner. Ipsy sends a lot a lot of liquid eyeliners. I think the last three bags I got all had liquid liners in it. This is one of the best ones I've gotten from them. This is one of the best ones I've gotten, period. The pigment is so black. I mean, a straight up matte, beautiful black, thick line, easy to control. I love the handle of the pen. It's just a really, really, really good black liner. Again, Ipsy right now, three for three, killed it. That's awesome. Next, we have, which I'm kind of going to reverse order because I actually use these two first, the Murad Nutrient Charge Water Gel. I use this today as a moisturizer. This as a moisturizer today. I really like it. It's really, really good. It is a hydrogel moisturizer. Ugh. The only issue I have with this moisturizer is that I have so many moisturizers from Ipsy, especially Murad. So this on its own is a really great moisturizer. It's super lightweight. It's perfect for summer. Um, it's gel, so it's like really cooling. Let me show it to y'all. It reminds me of the Clinique Moisture Surge. That's exactly what it reminds me of. So it's like pink. I don't know if y'all can see because of the lights, but it's a light pink gel. Like really, how many moisturizers do I have? I have one face, but it's a really, really, really good moisturizer. Last but certainly not least, which is actually the first thing I tried out, the Moisture Boost Gel to Water Morning Cleanser from Tony Moly. So I really like this cleanser. It was really, really different. It's not the best cleaner I've ever used, but for a morning cleanser, it's really good. It's really cool because it starts out as this gel and as you rub it in, it kind of breaks down and turns into a liquid. And that's really cool because again, just like the moisturizer, it's very, very light. I would not, the only thing about it that I don't like, it will not take makeup off. It is a very light cleanser. But a morning cleanser, when you're waking up and just trying to get the sleep off and just trying to kind of get the dead skin and the sweat off, it works really, really good for that. It's just not going to remove your makeup. I'll just tell you that. But it's a really good cleanser, a good morning cleanser. So overall, the April Ipsy Glam Bag, I'm going to give it five out of five diamonds, which I never do. But literally, this is probably the best Ipsy Glam Bag I received in the last at least since the start of 2020. It's so good. Every single thing I know I'm gonna use more than once. Every single thing I can't wait to use again. It's just a really, really good, good, good glam bag. So Ipsy, April, which is my birth month again, thank you so much for putting up a really, really good bag. If this is full bloom, like I'm, I'm excited about it. I like the little bag too. The bag is different. It's not, these little prints are not my vibe, but I like the lavender. And I love this little wooden zipper. Like when you feel it, it feels like wood. It's really cool. Thank you so much for watching this week's edition of First Impression Fridays. I hope y'all enjoyed everything in the April Ipsy Glam Bag. Let me know if, if you're an Ipsy person, if you're an Ipsy subscriber, please let me know what you got and if you liked your bag as well. Also, if you do want more information on how to subscribe to Ipsy, how to become an Ipster, I actually have a link for you on the corresponding blog post that's linked below. Also on that blog post, I do have... Um, or you can hit me up on all social media, which is always the last live. If you want to, you can hit up my Twitter, which is right here, which all that is is just my random tweets. It is under my name. It's Marty underscore 05 because it's not really blog, just a blog. I do talk about the blog, but it's mostly just random me thoughts. And also my Instagram, my Instagram page for the blog has a lot more features than this YouTube channel. It has Merch Mondays, which this shirt is going to be featured on. It has Instagram mini tutorials that I post every month, at least once a month. Um, that's going to be on there. And also daily, I have my deals of the day. So you can check out that Instagram right there. And deals of the day is five deals from five different stores that I use. And so that's daily on my Instagram stories there. So if you wouldn't mind, guys, you can subscribe to this channel. You can like this video. If you like this video, 
I will see you next week here on Diamonds and Denim for the next First Impression Friday, same glam time, same glam channel. See you next time. Bye.